Learning Frontiers is a unique program because it will be genuinely co-created by leading schools in Australia and by a national support agency. It's predicated on the idea that we now have sufficient shared knowledge and are going to be in a position to create more upon which to base practices which will significantly improve and increase the levels of engagement of learners in schools. But to do that, we have intentionally to design it. Design thinking is a relatively new skill and approach in schools, but it's not unprecedented. Uh, we have examples in the literature and in the work of great schools, including in Australia, of schools who identify key principles which they hold to and which shape and inform their practice. However, if the design hubs which are at the heart of Learning Frontiers are to be coherent and if they're to get off to a sound start, it's important to begin with a set of high-level principles as a framework. And we have identified four such principles for schools upon which we will build a programme. To recap, they advocate learning which is personalised, connected, integrated and co-created. The first source for our four high-level principles is, of course, the international research literature. And we have taken a wide view, um, noting the fact that most gold standard evidence-based research uh, has a time lag and is not necessarily alert to interesting emergent practice. And moreover, measures adopted are most usually test scores and too frequently pay little attention to increasing levels of learner engagement, which is the main focus of this programme. However, the OECD has helpfully recently published a synthesis of findings from a whole range of research disciplines. They published it in a book called The Nature of Learning, and we have leaned heavily on the findings of this work, and indeed on the subsequent work which uh, OECD has launched called Innovative Learning Environments. And we've taken a look too at some of the work published by psychologists on the nature of motivation. Take for example Daniel Pink in his book Drive, in which he identifies the three keys as being mastery, purpose and autonomy for learners. The second source for our high level principles is the work of great and successful schools. Schools which are not only achieving terrific graduation rates and high test scores, high levels of inclusion, but which are also manifestly creating passionate, lifelong, engaged learners. We include in this category some of our partner schools internationally who will be helping with and informing the work of Learning Frontiers. Schools such as High Tech High in San Diego, which explicitly adopts a series of design principles which shape and inform their everyday practice. And schools in the UK, which have been part of forerunner programmes around engagement and from whose experience we can learn a great deal. And naturally, terrific schools in Australia, leading cutting-edge schools whose work will be part of the co-creation of our designs. The third source for our design principles has been the horizon scanning work which we have undertaken, looking at the work of successful innovators from around the world. People working from kindergarten right through schooling and into higher education, whose focus has been on deriving powerful learning designs to create successful, engaged learners who can thrive in 21st century conditions. And finally, we have taken account of the growing consensus which appears to be emerging from global education leaders in systems from the most successful to the most urgently ambitious, that the direction of travel for the redesign of learning in the 21st century is starting to become clearer. In various shapes and forms, these systems, obviously with contextual sensitivity and cultural awareness, are starting to implement aspects of these principles. Last year, representatives from 12 such systems collaboratively published a book in which these principles were set out. And we have drawn upon them in deriving the four principles which are the very foundation for Learning Frontiers. So we now have some firm foundations on which to move forward. The specific professional practices and designs based on these high-level principles which will emerge in our work and which are already present to some degree in schools which are coming forward to be involved in the programme are the work of the years to come. 
We think it's an extremely exciting prospect and we look forward very much to working with you to realising it.